Hello and welcome to another online story time. My name is Miss Jenna from the Chippewa Falls Public Library and I am very, very grateful that you are tuning in and watching story time today. I have two songs and one story planned today. I hope you enjoy them. First, we'll start off with our good morning song. We always start off with the same song with me because that not only helps our kids' brains grow, but it's also easier for us to remember from week to week. This week, if you have a scarf or a washcloth or a sock or a bandana, something that you can wave around that will be helpful, go ahead and pause the video if you need to and go grab something for our first song. So our song is Say Hello to Your Toes. Now you can't see my toes, but they're way down there. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my scarf to tickle my toes while we sing the song. And the words are right here if you need them. Are you ready? Say hello to your toes. Hello toes, hello toes. Say hello to your toes. Hello, toes. <laughs> How about we use our scarf to tickle our elbows next? Let's see. Can we count our elbows? One, two. I have two elbows. How many elbows do you have? How about your family members that are watching with you? How many elbows do they have? Somebody might not have two elbows. Somebody might have one or maybe even zero elbows. Everybody is different. And that's really cool, isn't it? All right, let's tickle our elbows. Say hello to your elbows. Hello, elbows. Hello, elbows. Say hello to your elbows. Hello, elbows. <laughs> How about we reach way behind us and tickle our backs with our scarves now. We'll say hello to our backs. You can go up or you can reach around this way too. Or you can switch and use your other arm. Are you all set? Say hello to your back. Hello back. Hello back, say hello to your back. Hello back. <laughs> Ooh, we did our back. Let's do the opposite and do our front. Let's do our stomach. Can we tickle our tummy with our scarves? <laughs> Are you ticklish? I'm pretty ticklish myself. <laughs> Some people aren't ticklish. Okay, here we go. Say hello to your tummy, hello tummy, hello tummy. Say hello to your tummy, hello tummy. Let's do two more. We're gonna go up a little bit to our neck. Our neck is underneath our head and above our shoulders, right here. Can you tickle your neck? <laughs> I'm going to try and not bump my microphone too much here. I'll hold it up. Okay, here we go. Say hello to your neck. Hello, neck. Hello, neck. Say hello to your neck. Hello, neck. That really tickled me. <laughs> we'll do one more. Can you reach back down and find your knees? Here's one of my knees, and here's my other knee. They're down here. <laughs> so you can tickle your knees. Say hello to your knees. Hello, knees. Hello, knees. Say hello to your knees. Hello, knees. <laughs> now don't put your scarf too far away. Our last song of the day is also going to need a scarf.
Next, we are going to do a finger play. So can you help me count five fingers? Can you hold up your five fingers too? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do a finger play about lions. Can you help me count the lions? One, two, three, four, and five. You can pretend to have little lions on the tips of your fingers too. Our grab and go bags from this week are about lions. If you have, if you're a toddler, preschooler, or a kindergarten, first, second, or third grader. If you didn't get a chance to grab this week's grab and go bags, that's okay. We'll have more out next week. So we've got our five little lions all in a row. We'll do this a couple times. Five little lions all in a row. One ran away. <gasps> These are really velcroy. Where did he go? Four little lions left to play. One went home. He could not stay. How many lions are ne left? One, two, three. Three little lions chasing one another. Can you make your little lions run around? One went into the jungle to find their mother. Two little lions ro loudly roaring. Can you roar with me? Roar! There's two lions. We better roar again. Roar! Two little lions loudly roaring. One fell asleep. And now he's snoring. Can you snore with me like the little lion? One little lion without any friends. It's time for him to go eat supper back at the den. No little lions left today. Come back tomorrow and again we'll play. We don't have to wait until tomorrow. Let's do it again. Let's count those lions. One, two, Three, four, five. Can you hold up your five fingers? Yeah, let's do it again. Five little lions all in a row. One ran away. Where did he go? Where do you think that lion went? Maybe he went to climb a tree, or maybe he went to go lay in the water, or maybe he went to go chase something. <laughs> How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little lions left to play. One went home. She could not stay. How many are left now? One, two, Three. Three little lions chasing one another. One went into the jungle to find their mother. Can you help me count? Let's count together. One, two. Two little lions loudly. What were they doing? Roaring. Roar. Roar! One fell asleep. Oh, it's been a busy day. It's definitely time for a nap, isn't it? One fell asleep, and now he's snoring. How many lions are left? One. One little lion without any friends. It's time for him to go eat supper back at the den. 
No little lions left today. Come back tomorrow and again we'll play. Our story today is called, Ta-da! Can you say that with me? You have to do it in a sing-songy voice. Ta-da! <laughs> well, it's like, this little girl is holding a magic wand. Isn't that exciting? I wonder what the story is going to be about. Let's see, the author is Kathy Ellen Davis. And it's illustrated by Kehlani Juanita. And I want to thank the publisher for allowing me to share this story with you today. The publisher is Chronicle Books. Let's take a look at the end papers of our story. <laughs> this is a really wide book, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, I see a, a castle. Let's follow the path. Oh. The path turns into toys and blocks. And now it looks like we're in a child's bedroom. Oh, they've drawn some really great drawings. And there's plants, box of toys. And I think I see somebody peeping behind the blocks. Hmm. I wonder what the story is going to be about. What do you think it's going to be about? Let's find out. There's that word again. Ta-da! Can you say that with me? Ta-da! Once upon a time, a girl lived in a crystal castle on a hill. She had lots of animal friends and was very happy. Oh, there she is. Look at that. She has a seal friend and a teddy bear. What makes you happy? Like the little girl in our story. Oh, but dun, dun, dun. Can you sing that with me? Dun, dun, dun. Somebody came in through the door. Who do you think it is? <gasps> A dragon came. <gasps> he scared the animals. He wrecked the castle. He blew fire. Can we blow fire like the dragon? There's the dragon. On the count of three, let's blow fire. One, two, three. <gasps> he blew fire and ta-da! <laughs> Can you do that with me? Ta-da! The girl turned the dragon into a kind dragon. Oh, that's really nice. What do you think a kind dragon might do? Instead of blowing fire, maybe he would blow bubbles. And then we could chase the bubbles. Or maybe a kind dragon would help with the chores. Or draw us really lovely pictures. Hmm. Let's see, what happens next? They flew away into the sunset and oh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, let's see. I think they're on a ship. There's a cannonball. Oh, pirates attacked the girl and her dragon. They took the girl prisoner. They made the dragon blow wind in their sails. And they lived horribly ever after. Oh, no. There they are. They're on their pretend ship. Oh, she doesn't look very happy, does she? Mm-mm. She does not want to be there. <gasps> but, ta-da! The 
the girl pulled out her magic book of spells and cast one to blow wind in the pirate's sails forever. Then she cast one to set herself free. And she took an island vacation. <laughs> there she is in a hammock. She has a fancy drink and there's bananas and coconuts. She's wearing sunglasses in the sun. Oh, there goes the dragon. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen next. What are they going to imagine next? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. A feather came out of nowhere. <gasps> and the dragon sneezed fire. <gasps> <Ah -choo! gasps> Ta-da! The girl had trained in flamethrowing her whole life, so she was ready. She moved the fire and saved the day. Oh, until water flooded everything and dun, dun, da, ta-da! The dragon drank it all up because he was thirsty. But then he had to go to the bathroom, so dun, dun, ta-da! The girl made a toilet. That was the perfect size for dragons. But then, and it had magic toilet paper that never ran out. Oh, how cool would that be? Magic toilet paper that never ran out? Hmm. Looks like the girl is thwarting all of the bad guy's intentions. She's saving the day left and right. Oh. Hmm. Now the bad guy says, Never mind. But is the bad guy really a bad guy? No, he's a friend or a brother. And they're playing, aren't they? They're having fun imagining. Why do you think he's saying, never mind? Yeah, I wonder. He's kind of walking away. He has his arms folded across his chest. I wonder if he's starting to feel a little frustrated or maybe a little sad. He doesn't get to choose much of the play, does he? Because she keeps saving the day right away. She's right on top of that. <laughs> the girl and the dragon lived happily ever after. Every day was perfect and nothing bad ever happened. One day they decided to go see what was happening with the boy. Hmm, look at her face. I think she looks a little bored. Sometimes it's okay to be bored, but sometimes it's nice to go find your friend again. Oh, there he is. Now he's pretending to be a magician. The magician was ready for his performance. No one was there. Just him and his rabbit. But something was missing. The girl came? Okay. So the girl came and knew just what he needed. Oh, what did he need? Ta-da! He's holding the magic wand. Magicians definitely need magic wands, don't they? I'm having trouble with the page. Hang on one moment, please. There we go. She and the dragon flew around and got everyone together for the show. Oh, look, there's an audience for his show. Then she used her fire skills, and they made a big announcement. Magic show! Oh, they're going to work together and put on a magic show. And the dragon is helping, too. Then it was time for the finale. Everyone clapped and clapped. Can you clap your hands? Yay, let's cheer for their magic show. And they lived happily. Do you know the rest of the phrase? Happily ever after. Until dun, 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 I'm hungry. Ta-da! Snack time. Let's see, what are they having for a snack? He's holding a bag of marshmallows. Oh, 
those look like graham crackers. <gasps> and that might be maybe some hot chocolate and some bananas and some apples. Ooh, that sounds like a good balance of healthy and sweet stuff. So everyone lived happily ever after until, oh, they're imagining their snack as a giant s'more or an ice cream sandwich <laughs> and a gigantic ice cream cone. <laughs> so everyone lived happily ever after until, dun, 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 the dragon sneezed <gasps> and fell out of the sky. But everything was okay because, ta-da, they had scuba gear. Oh, now they're pretending to scuba dive. And they went on an underwater adventure. Oh, I see some fish. And they found the lost city of Atlantis. Oh, that's a really exciting adventure. But, oh, oh no. Oh, have you ever made an oopsie like that? Have you ever made a mistake like that? What happened? Yeah, she accidentally spilled her hot chocolate. Oh, no. But, ta-da! The magician's treasure just for the girl. Oh, how wonderful. She's sharing. She looks very pleased and thankful. They used their magic powers and rebuilt the lost city of Atlantis. Can you do one more ta-da with me on the count of three? One, two, three, ta-da! Their fort is the lost city of Atlantis. Let's take a closer look. Yep, they have their snack. There's the fish. They use lots of really exciting things to create their fort. The end. Now look at these end papers are a little different. Let's remind us what the beginning looked like. So we started off with a castle and then we learned that it was a bedroom and now we have the bedroom into the lost city of Atlantis underneath the ocean. The end. What sorts of things do you like to pretend when you're playing? Have you ever pretended to be a pirate or a dragon or scuba diving under the ocean? <laughs> It's time to get those scarves back out for our final song of story time today. It's a song you probably know. Do you know the Itsy Bitsy Spider? You do? If you don't, here are the words right here. So we're going to get out our spiders. We're going to climb up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy the spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Let's do it with our scarf. Can you make your scarf go way up? And then it's going to go down. And then we'll make a circle with it. Yeah. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And then what happened? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. 
Another way you can do it is you can pretend that you are the spout and you can make the scarf climb up you. <laughs> you can stand up and do it. Or if you have a little one, you can tickle the scarf on your child if they want you to. If they don't want you to, that's okay too. Okay, we'll do it two more times. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Let's switch hands. We'll do it with our other hand this time. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Thank you so much for tuning in to Storytime today. It is so great to hear from families who have been watching. So feel free to share these videos with other friends and family and let us know what you have been enjoying about our story times. Our summer learning challenge has started. That started on July 1st and it goes through August 29th. And you can find more information on that on our website or on Facebook. Or you can definitely get a hold of us as well. Give us a call or send us an email to learn how your children and how you kids can earn prizes for doing fun stuff at home and for reading together. Some of the prizes include books. We have so many books that we want to give away to you. And we have coupons to local restaurants, as well as grabbed bags that include little trinkets and art supplies and stickers and tattoos and fun stuff like that. Thanks again for watching. You guys are so wonderful. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being safe and um, use our curbside services. Definitely reach out to us if you need some assistance looking for materials and books for you guys to enjoy together at home. Take care. We'll see you soon when it is safe. Bye!